today I'm going to show you how to set up your Logitech G29 steering wheel with a shifter on a laptop. So this is a Dell Inspiron 5000 series. It's got an Intel i7 16 gig of RAM and 256 gig uh, SSD. So it's not a gaming laptop but it's got a reasonable graphics card and the spec is reasonably high. So I've got my pedals here, the shifter here and steering wheel here. So let me reposition the camera and get all the components connected up. Okay, so let me turn over the steering wheel. It's quite straightforward. The pedal connector is just there and a small icon just over here if I can show it in the light pedals and that's power and that's the shifter to the gear stick so it's as simple as just feeding the cable in and around uh, this wire here is the USB connector and that will be going into the laptop so let's get the USB in there and then we'll get the pedals connected just over here and we can get that cable coming like so. Let's get the shifter connector which is there, connect that in here. So obviously a number of, number of people have sort of requested um, to show what it's like working on a PC and how to set it up. So hence why I thought, let me just do this video to help a few people out thinking of purchasing this. That's the USB, we'll keep that to the side. And the power is just here. So that's everything connected up, really. There you go. All the bits connected so next we just attach it to our table if I reposition the camera like so one end gone in the other end's gone in just tighten that and there you go that's that connected next thing we'll get our USB connector ready to plug into the laptop just put it there and let me next power on the steering wheel okay so the steering wheels plugged in to the power and all connected up we're just about to place the usb cable into the laptop which is just over here and we've got it plugged in to a tv over here so let's plug in the usb next okay quickly oh so still spinning around and I can see on the screen it's come up with setting up Logitech steering wheel. So G29 driving force wheel is set up and ready to go. So it's automatically done it. So we were expecting to install some software for this. So plug in play straight away. So what we'll do initially, we'll minimize the Logitech website and I've got a couple of games on this. So first one being Euro Truck Simulator 2. So let's start that one. Okay, so we've tried the game out initially and there doesn't seem to be any activity on there from the actual steering wheel here. So we've gone to the Logitech website and there's a Logitech gaming software. So we're gonna have a go at installing that. So we've read on some forums, this is what you're supposed to do. So let's go ahead and do this. Just downloaded. 
downloading right now. Let's give it a moment. Okay, just to zoom in a bit, just to show. Okay. Okay, software is being installed now. Okay, steering was just moving. There you go. Software installed now. Just click finish. And the computer needs a restart. So let's let it restart in the background now. Okay, so the software is on. Euro simulator, so the Euro truck simulator is running now. And the only thing we've had to do is go into the options and make sure the actual steering wheel selected as a mode of actual driving the truck. So let's give it a go. There you go. Works pretty well. And again, we'll show the gears being changed. Okay, working really well. So a couple of things probably to mention. The actual steering wheel itself has a selector just over here. And the mode it's on is actually just over here, which is PS4. And obviously it's been connected to the laptop, as I've already said. It's auto picked up some drivers and we've installed some software, obviously for it to work now there you go works pretty well obviously this isn't a gaming laptop but graphics wise it's not too bad better probably with a more improved graphics card okay so the next thing we're going to try out is project cars 2 so let me prepare that and we can show that in action Okay, so Project Cars 2 is running now. We've changed the configuration in the game, so it works with the steering wheel and shifter. And just to show it in action. There you go. Graphics wise, uh, my laptop is struggling because it's not a gaming laptop. So a lot of lag. And playability wise it's not extremely good but does the job as you can see is working so there you go hope this has helped anyone thinking of purchasing the logitech g29 to use with their laptop does work well as you've seen obviously you need a good hardware spec to run it on so obviously I've tried it with Euro Truck Simulator 2, Project Cars 2. So there you go. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.